guys for watching Go Doctor Who and today we're in another video, another review, Halloween edition. I'm never doing that again. But you know, it's Halloween, happy Halloween, woo, party poppers and stuff like that. Um, today we're going to do something festive in a way to Halloween, our five scariest monsters. I'm going to stop doing the voice now. Five favourite, five favourite, five scariest monsters in Doctor Who, that, in modern Doctor Who. So that's my idea for this video and that's what we're going to go off so at fifth place we have the midnight now this midnight character from midnight is i'm not particularly sure what it's called and i don't think it has really a name but in the episode midnight uh there's a woman that copies uh david tennant and then it transfers to david tennant then it transfers to someone else and it just plays the emotions and i think that's done so well and it's so creepy i remember being what, this was 2008, so I was eight at the time. I remember being very scared to go up to bed and sleep because I weren't obviously crying or anything. It's, you know, it's just that eeriness. You just watch your back as you walk up to your stairs and you go and make sure your feet don't touch the bed edge of the bed. That scenario. And I think that is a very creepy thing to do and it done so well. And it is kind of creepy aspects today, you know. It, for an, obviously it don't scare me now but if I've got one of my mates to watch it who's never watched Doctor Who maybe they might be scared of it so that's at 5th place at 4th place we have the pig dolls I've never been a fan of dolls nightmares of Chucky don't like it don't like dolls in general they move, it's creepy you know uh, there's a channel on YouTube I was watching I don't know why I was watching it because it freaked me out basically a dolls moving in YouTubers videos that was creepy as hell so as a kid I used to just put all my toys and lock them up and leave them there because I would be scared of a toy story scenario where they would come alive and literally kill you so pig dolls very creepy aspect and the rhyming with the children's songs and the stuff like that is absolutely terrifying now I was watching this episode live with Matt Smith uh, you know the pig doll episode now, I was watching this, and um, basically, uh, one person walked in and was like, oh, what are you watching? I'm watching Doctor Who. That's Doctor Who. That's scary as hell. How can they be watching that for kids? I'm like, I don't know. Sometimes Doctor Who can be scary, you know? And that is the thing about this episode, this video, is we're talking about the scary aspect. Now, at third place, we have Vasta Narada. Who turned out the lights? Hey. To, who turned out the lights and the faster and the faster and fast you blink not blink wrong wrong villain mate you you just step into the shadow and boom you're eaten you're turned into a skeleton and you won't need x-ray vision for the rest of your life um this was a very creepy one yet again i was watching this going up to my bedroom and i i was looking at the shadows i had two shadows and i was like Oh, it's only a TV show. It's only a TV show. Brush my teeth. Let's go to bed. Whoa. Oh, no. My bed's in the dark. Yeah. Oh, well. I'm going to die. You know, this is a very creepy aspect with playing with shadows. Playing with objects, which Stephen Moffat does so well. Playing with things that just are basic. You walk past shadows every day. And to make them scary and intriguing is incredible. So it has to be on the list. Now. That's at third place. What's at second place? Second place is the flood. One drop of water. Just one drop. That's incredible. So the water is the villain in this. And how do you make water scary? You drink water every day. You do it like this. Um, so the flood. One drop. You turn into these creature things with them faces going out. The water. And they're going, ah, And they're chasing you. And they're non-stop impossible villains to defeat really unless you blow the whole thing up which sadly to them they're on the mars mate they've only got one destination on mars and stuck in this little thing and if they blow it all up they're all going to die with it which isn't meant to be with the fixed point in time stuff we're going towards we're not going to that we're going to focus on the villain these villains are creepy scary and they constantly coming after you claustrophobicness to another level and i just really enjoy them um at first place now, are you my mummy? Mummy. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is the scariest thing. And I've only kind of just gotten past it now. At the age of, oh god. You know, I remember going back and watching this. 
and it scared me. I would try and avoid this episode every time. And that's the thing with Stephen Moffat, he can do this. So basically I love Doctor Who, I'd watch every episode. But I would have to skip this one until I was old enough to flipping go through it again. You know, every time I watched it, I regretted it because I had scare factor nightmares of a gas mask mummy coming towards me and turning me into one. In fact, I, I, I think I had a dream once of someone turning into one. So, you know, it has the nightmare factor to another level with this creepy zombie gas mask with the nano genes coming at you, spirit. And it also, you know, we went to World War, we went to a, a museum and these World War gas masks were here. I would speed past them. I would speed past the gas masks because they were creepy as hell. Everyone wanted to sit in this little gas mask bit. I didn't want to go in there. I went in there and pretended I was brave. And I was like, mm, mm-hmm. But I was moving fast because I didn't want to go near there any more than I had to. Because they had gas masks in. Now, now I'm old enough, it's kind of a bit less scary. But it's still scary. It still plays on that. And if I get anyone to watch this episode, I guarantee they're going to be scared. So this is a scary episode. That is just a dread of turning into a gas mask. The dread of the boy uh, using his finger and moving stuff about. The monkey going with a bash, bashing like a monkey thing was very creepy. Uh, so yeah, that's my thoughts. That's my opinions on these top five. What are your top five, or what's your fur, your favourite in general? I mean, a lot of you are gonna go, "Where's the weeping angels? Where's the weeping angels?" I found them scary for their first episode. I never found them scary again after that. I just thought they were cool villains, so they're not really scary to me. And, yeah, stones, statues, I'm blinking at you, mate. What are you going to do? Um, I mean, if one came at me in real life, I would be, um, this top wouldn't be white anymore. <laughs> so, yeah, that's my thoughts, that's my opinions, guys. There's plenty of villains in Doctor Who for the 50 years, maybe even the classic. Let me know down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Get a little bell so you don't miss any video and subscribe to the channel because we're trying to get to, I would say, 350 if it's possible for the end of the year. I mean, thank you all for subscribing and getting us to 300. That's incredible. That's amazing. So thank you for that. But also, I'm on TikTok. Yay! I've just started TikTok. So check me out on TikTok. And also check me out on Twitter because I've been on Twitter for a couple months now. And... I've got Instagram, so check them all out, they should be there hopefully, and I'll, and I'll see you guys on the video very soon, as always, and yeah, I'll see you guys on the video, have a nice day, every, every Saturday there'll be a video on the channel, see you guys very soon.